Well, hey, family, how are you doing this evening? I'm Eve with the baby's booty. And tonight, I'm chilling out, okay? I got to chill out because I'm about to go on vacay in, let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 8 hours. 8 hours, I'm about to be outie! So, at any rate, to, and also, because the last two Sundays, if you recall, whenever I switch my camera, the camera just like knocks the whole planet out of line. So I'm not even going to try to attempt to switch cameras. So no blinging tonight, unfortunately, um, until I can figure out what the heck is going on with my camera. Go figure something else to get on my nerves. So tonight, what I figure I do is share a lot of the really awesome gems and tidbits that I got from the Wallapalooza. Y'all, it was power packed. It really was. Um, and one of the main reasons also why I decided to do that with you guys tonight is because a lot of you here with us have YouTube channels as well. A lot of you are working towards being content creators full time or a large portion of the time, as well as influencers. You're you're trying to get to that place. And even if you're an influencer on a smaller scale, it still works. You know, no matter five subscribers, 500,000 subscribers, doesn't matter. The thing is influencing your audience and growing, okay? So it was very beneficial. So we're going to go over quite a few things, show you some of the loot that we got from um, the Wallapalooza up in North Dakota, which was hosted by the Heat Transfer Warehouse. And I'll try to get links in the description. Right now, I don't have any links. So I'll try to make sure that I add links later for those who watch the replay. Um, but meanwhile, we'll try and go over where all of that stuff is. Also, I... Uh, had a layover in Minneapolis. We had a layover in Minneapolis, me and the honey. And y'all, he let me go into the print store. So I want to talk to y'all about that. That was amazing. Um, and show you guys some pictures. And then also the buy-in started last night at midnight. So if you are interested in the buy-in, um, because I got a lot of folks that ask when is the next buy-in, it is now okay so go ahead and um place your order you have until next sunday this is a really quick buy-in this one isn't a long drawn out one so if you hang on for <laughs> that's so sweet of you <laughs> thank you for the super chat for three God knows. Look, <laughs> I'm gonna need a refreshing drink and then some, fam. Um, because it's it's been a while since we went and actually had a legit vacation. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. But the um <laughs> buy-in has started, and so this is July going into August. Okay, July going into August, and we're gonna talk about trends. Um, as well here after we get through some of this stuff and then um, let you know what colors you really should be looking at trying to build up right now in preparation of. And of course, we have our new batch of rhinestone designs from the rhinestone mechanic. So we're also going to show you those because they're super cute and I love them. Um, so we'll do all of that and then some. And then if you have any questions about the buy-in, or any questions about the Bling Fest coming up October 27th and 28th, you can ask them as well. So, thank y'all for coming to hang out with me. We will go ahead and get started. Yes, that was very sweet. Elevate Artistry. It was. That's my girl. Y'all, it was really cool being able to hang with Blingy Besties up in North Dakota. Um, it was a lot of fun. I was looking forward to it. It did not disappoint. I was able to meet and greet a lot of folks 
that I didn't expect to get to be able to see. So I'm super excited about that. Made a lot of connections um, and did some reconnecting as well. So very excited about how everything transpired. But really quick, excuse me, really quick, I'm going to go into the chat and say hi to some of the folks who have taken their time to come and hang out with us tonight. We got Nick Nick Nurse in the house. Hey, honey, welcome. Diana Henderson is in the house. Welcome. DIY with T as, as well. Welcome. Ernique. Hey, honey, bunny. Welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Miss Carol Coleman. Hey, honey. Welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. We got Baby Giant Services, LLC, Shonda Coleman. Hello. We got my Patrice in the chat. <laughs> Just Paper Crafting. Hello. Teresa Ross, hello. Sharon Davenport, hello, honey. Welcome and thank you very much for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We also have Leslie Cash Tips. I love the name. Hello, welcome. Then we have Make It With Marilyn. Hey, honey, welcome. Thank you for joining us and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member and happy anniversary again. Hopefully everything went fantabulous yesterday. Benita Neely, hello, welcome. Jesse Gibson, hello, welcome. Then we also have Blue Emerald Creations. Miss Sandra, welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We have Richie James, where it's 2 a.m. in the UK. Welcome from the UK. We appreciate you taking the time out in the wee hours to hang with us. I appreciate it. <laughs> we also have Creative Art by LT. Hey, Laura, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Mary Brown, hey, honey, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Kiss my baby for me. Then we have uh, So Crafty. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Welcome. I'm sorry, Mary Brown. I think I done messed up. I didn't mean to tell you that. Dimps Designs. Welcome. Hi, honey. Kiss my baby for me. How is he doing? Hopefully he's doing good. Sorry, my brain skipped names and folks. Beverly Smith. Hello. Welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Lillian Rivera. Hello. Welcome. Zelda Brown. Welcome. We also have Leela Nelson. Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Gina Goins. Hey, honey. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Nakomi Butler. Thank you for joining us. Arlene made by Trini Lena. Welcome. How are you? And how's the weather down in the beautiful tropics? <laughs> I'm Bias LLC. Welcome. Patricia Smart. Welcome. Did I say hi, Sheila Cushionberry? Y'all, I'm so tired. I don't even remember if I said hey to her or not. So I had to say it again if I did, y'all. Creations by K.I. Isha. Hey, honey, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member. The Logo Zone, welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Mocha Crochet and Crafts, welcome. Paula D, welcome. EJ's daughter, thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member and welcome. We also have Patricia Johnson, who is also a YouTube Who Group member. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Porgy Town. Hi, Angel B. Welcome. Raylene Hillhouse. Welcome. Miss Ethel Smith Ames. Welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Linda Gray. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Robin Bryant. Tracy Murray. Elevate Artistry. Up Designs. All of you welcome. And Up Designs, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I'm going to have to keep scrolling. Hey, Miss Gail. Hey, Boracua. Hey, Andrea Ross. I love all of y'all. Thank you for hanging out with us. I am scrolling to the bottom. Um, Bridget Porter, thank you for letting me know your rhinestones came. And thank you for letting me know you also got you an ET15000. Not the Echo Tank fam. Holler. Yas, honey. Yas. Congratulations on that new printer, baby. Let me know what you print out, fam, so we can join in with the celebration of all the cool stuff you're going to be making with your new baby. So I don't want to take too much time on not getting you the information from the Wallapalooza. So I'm just going to start from the beginning. So one of the first things I got was my name tag, Wallapalooza. Super cute. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. That's the Walla badge. Everybody had a badge that they wore to the Wallapalooza. Actually, you know what? That's something else I'm going to do. Let me go ahead and get some of these pictures pulled up so that you can see them. Um, and then we also got a shirt um, when we got there. So here's the Wallapalooza shirt from this year. Okay, because it's different design from last year. 
So here's the Wallapalooza uh, with the dates on it. And that's the Fargo Water Tower. Super cute. And the shirts were provided by Lane 7. So that was awesome sauce. And the cool thing is on the back of the shirt, it shows up top. Oh, wrong hand is this hand I wanted to come in on. So up top, this first section right here, these are the vendors that was there, okay? So you had Lane 7, you had Polytape, you had DTF Station, you had Silky Socks, Caesar, Epson, Bella Canvas, Sawgrass, Shimica, Supercolor, ISW, and Amon. So those were the vendors that were on site, okay? And then down at the bottom are the uh, content creators that were coming to the event, okay? And so some of them, a couple of them did not make it, um, and that's okay. But the cool thing is names are on the t-shirt. They were invited, and they had agreed to come. And then probably something came up and was unable to make it, but there's no worries. Um, but I met just about everyone on the back of this shirt. I really meant for folks to sign this shirt. Did not get to get that to happen. So we'll have to make plans to make sure that the shirt is signed next year. Um, so this is a shirt that we got, and it's super cool um, to have your um, name on the shirt. We also got swag bags, which were super cool. I'm going to show you the bag itself, um, and it's full. So um, here's the swag bag that we got. And, of course, some of the brands that help sponsor the bag are on the front of the bag. And Brujala is the name of the uh, event space that we were in. And it was really nice, you guys. That was a beautiful facility. Absolutely love that. It actually reminisced me of a similar facility that we have here in Charlotte. Um, just not up and down. It's a spread out facility in Charlotte, but it's really similar in look to the one in Fargo. So that was fun. Um, in our swag bag we all got a hat with wallaby on it with a wallaby so i like the bucket hat that was cute um we also got because i got a bag for me and a bag for mr mcclackens um we also got an another outfit so we got um i think this is Bella Campus. let's see let me make sure yeah so we got Bella Canvas sweats with the wallaby on it at the ankle. So we got a pair of sweats. And then we got another shirt to go with that one, Bella Canvas shirt. And then it has the wallaby on the sleeve. So we all got a shirt in our bags. Um... We also got a water bottle in our bags that they sublimated, um, and it has all of the vendors on here. So, like, there's Super Color, there's Bella Canvas, Silky Socks, Epson, Polytape, um, ISW, um, and our names were sublimated on there. DTF Station, Amon, Sawgrass, Caesar. Um, Lane 7, Deco Press, and Shimica. Y'all, when I tell you I love this water bottle, like this is my new fave water bottle. Um, it kept my stuff really cold so that I had water all day because I kept getting thirsty. I'm on new medicine, so it kept me thirsty. So got a water bottle, and then we also got a pair of silky socks in our bag. We also got um, postcards in our bag. This is not the vendor stuff. I'm just showing you cool stuff that we got in our bag. We got postcards that we could mail out while we were up there. But, of course, I'm keeping mine not for sending to anyone else. It's for me. I probably should have mailed it out to myself, but I didn't. Here's the other one. Here's another postcard. Um, so there's the postcard with Fargo. Um, that's the, I guess that's the famous sign for Fargo. Um, and here's the facility, the Brujala facility that we went to, the event space. It was super nice. That's a beautiful picture of that building. And then, of course, here's my favorite 
Fargo sign that we took a picture of last year. Is that a purple kangaroo wallaby back there by Prince? Yes, it is. That was not in the in the bag, but they did have a wallaby um, stuffy that you could pick up while you were there. So yes, I got me a wallaby. And I'm so cute. He's adorable. Victorious Creations, congratulations on your brother, SE700. Holler. Yes, honey. Yes. And your new Cricut Auto Press, Miss 143. Holler. Yes, honey. Congratulations. I don't know why my bell ain't on the ring. Congratulations. And yes, it's a squeezy. So yes, those are squeezy stress, uh, stress balls because, of course, we don't do the balls anymore. Um, we also got some stickers in our bag. Um, this one says choose kindness. Um, this one says, what does it say? I don't know. Oh, this is a floral bull, bull bison. And then there's the wood chipper that Fargo is famous for. And here's the Fargo sign. And the cool thing is the Fargo sticker goes right there. If I peeled it and put it on the bottle which I probably will. So that goes right there. That came in the bag and I may find other stickers in here. I'm just going over the simple stuff first and then I'm going to get to the meaty stuff because the meaty stuff was really cool, okay? Um, we each got a book that we could take notes in, but I was too busy like really paying attention, did not take notes um, in a way I wish I had of, but some of the more detailed stuff that I wanted to take notes for, um, I took pictures. Um, then Caesar was there, gave us the slap bracelet with the little Caesar shirt on it, which is super cool. And of course, you can use this for wrapping around your vinyl as well. We also got uh, some Caesar crafting tools, uh, a pick tool, weeding tool, and tweezers in there. So that's cool. Uh, Creations, goodbye, Kay. I usually got a new Epson SC570 to 24 inch sublimation printer. Congratulations, honey. Yes. Woo, holler. Yeah, honey. That's what's up. Can't wait to see what you do with it. Um, also, we got a sublimated zipper pouch. It says Wallapalooza on the, on the front and then sawgrass on the back so hey see how are you honey i missed you hate you didn't come um so we got this as well let me ring the bell we also got a where did it go htv run oh crap yes honey yes congratulations on your runt press you know what i never did i look in here i don't know i did and we also got a koozie from, apparently, I think that's Shimika. So this is just the simple stuff. This isn't um, nitty-gritty. And I think that, oh, we also got, oh, that's a card I need to keep. We also got, oh, we got to visit, okay. So when we went to um, Fargo, to the heat transfer warehouse, you got to tour the heat transfer warehouse. Well, part of, they expanded since last year. They have new warehouse space. They also have shirts from Fargo is also a part of Heat Transfer Warehouse now. They're in the same facility. So if you wanted to have shirts made or whatever, you could definitely do that there on site. And so they gave us a keychain that says shirts from Fargo, which is super cool. You know, the hotel key looking keychain. Okay. So I think that's all of the fluff stuff that was in our bag. I think, yep, yeah, looks like it. You know what? I forgot my what's the faces. I have to go get it here in a minute, possibly, or I may get them later. But at any rate, um, so on to some of the vendors. All right, so of course, just like when you go to a trade in you got your first buy-in spilling the diversity is awesome and let me know when you do the unboxing so i can be there and seek it would have been really been nice to see you but i understand um so one of the vendors that we saw there was seven lane apparel 
So I'm sure you're familiar with a lot of the um like Gildan and um Gildan, you also got Champion, you also have Bella Canvas, you also have Next Level. Okay, those are good. We also have a brand called Lane 7, okay? And Lane 7 was one of the sponsors last year and this year, okay? Lane 7, she came and she brought a uh, selection of their wardrobe, all right? Now, keep in mind, all of the stuff that I'm, all of the vendors I'm about to go over with you that we sat down and talked to, all of the vendors are um available at heat transfer warehouse okay so everything that i'm about to show you you should be able to get um from the heat transfer warehouse okay so this is her color swatch book i wish i had a book to show um some of her clothing items and what i may do um is go to the um no, no website's not on here. May go to Heat Transfer Warehouse and see what they have on their website. But she gave us a swatch book showing the colors of uh, things that she has available. So, like for instance, this is the premium fleece. So she has hoodies um, and sweatpants that go together, and here are the colors um, that she has available for her her line of clothes. So. I'm trying to get it where the light is really shining on it um, and not in the shadow. But these are the fleece options. And then you can kind of like feel the options. And then here you have cotton jersey. So like t-shirts is right here. And then on this page is her vintage wash at the top, which I, I love. L-U-V. The vintage wash. Okay, fam, that vintage wash is beautiful. So the vintage wash colors she has available. And then pigment dyed fleece and then French terry. The French terry line that she has is super cool. Um, the French terry is, you know, what do they call that? Um, I know what it's called. Y'all know what it's called too. But it's where the, the sleeve is going this way, kind of like a baseball, raglan. Her French terry is like the raglan style where the sleeve is set, you know, going diagonal, but hers is the same color. So like the shirt and the sleeves are all one color and it actually presented very nicely. And so she was like, this is for those people who like the raglan look, but just aren't a fan of the two-tone and it really did look really good. So definitely check her out, Lane 7. Um, her line is a really nice line of clothing. Very good quality um, fabrics and stitching and stuff. And I was very impressed with Lane 7. Um, so staying on task with or on point with um clothing let's move to um does she sell this sample card that she is showing i don't know char um that would be a question for heat transfer warehouse um they may be able to let you know um where you can get a sample book um or they may have one i don't know um but we were there so i don't know if she had like extras left over and left it with them or not so Definitely check with Heat Transfer Warehouse. Give them a call tomorrow and let them know, you know, that you did see some of this stuff um, and you're interested to see if you could get some of the swatches or whatever. I don't know. Um, and that is true. Sean mentions that if you go to any of the trade shows, um, so you weren't able to go to Wallapalooza um, in North Dakota at Heat Transfer Warehouse. So if Brooke and or whoever, not Brooke, if the customer service can't get you a sample book, um, like what we had um, this weekend then or last week, then you can go to the trade shows like Impressions Expo or Graphics Pro Expo. A lot of these same vendors will be at those expos and they'll have sample books and stuff too. That's why I try to encourage you guys to go to these specific events. Um, some are 
charge and some are not. Like Graphics Pro Expo is free, um, but some do have a cover charge to get in because it's, you know, specific to our industry and they probably just don't want folks walking in and just getting samples and stuff and you don't have anything to do with the industry. So I don't know. I've never been to an impression, so I don't know if they charge or not. But even if they do charge, it's worth it because you want to make connections with vendors so that you'll know who you're going to be working with if you're intending on using certain brands, especially to make money. Okay. So um, are you bringing vendors to Bling Fest? No, we're not bringing vendors to Bling Fest at this time. So at this time, I'm going to say no. Um, but the next vendor that we did meet with was Bella Canvas. Bella Canvas, I love my Bella Canvas rep. I've talked to him many times before. It was wonderful seeing him there again this time and sitting down and talking um, with him. And so what their trend for this season is the baby tea. And of course, I was like, why well, is it going to be baby tea? Because <laughs> ain't no baby fat down here going to be showing with these short t-shirts and stuff. But that's the trend that Bella Canvas has going on um, right now is the baby tea trend. So they have, um, so they even have, that's the t-shirt. They have the uh, strap tank that's short. They also have, See, here are the, the different ones, the 1019 on this page, 1013 here, and the colors that they come in. Absolutely love this book. So if you, um, you know, work with customers and you want to show them some options that they can have available to them, you can always open the book and show them the colors um, that they can have access to. So like this um, raglan shirt the baby tee raglan you see it showing midriff child I don't, I don't know what the obsession is and then you've got you know the different colors that it comes in and then this one as well you know so it was cool i like having the book uh for that reason you can flip through and see um the colors that are available for their heirloom shirts um let's see what else Heather CBC. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it. I buy the Heather CBC from time to time from them. I'm not a huge blend purchaser. Um, I try to like stick with the solids, but you know, it is how it is. And then of course the men folk shirts um, or unisex shirts. What was the name of this vendor? This one is uh, Bella Canvas. This is Bella Canvas. Yes, Avery, they can order from Lane 7 directly, but this was a heat transfer warehouse uh, sponsored event. And so a lot of this stuff comes from heat transfer warehouse. We're, you know, promoting them at the moment. Um, but here's more shirts um, that you can order from Bella Canvas and all of that stuff. So yeah, they got some really nice stuff. Another thing they're doing with Bella Canvas is they're doing more natural colors. I love the natural colors. Those are really, really cool. They're really pretty, nice and calm. I loved it. I loved it. So yeah, they have a lot of really nice stuff in here. Um, oh, and they even have a um, line now of baby onesies that they're doing. Um, he said, so, you know, check out the onesies when you get a chance. So yeah, that was super cool. Bella canvas. And he also gave us, as he said, the coveted Bella canvas swatch card. Now this one is a little difficult to get unless, you know, you're in person or whatever, but here are the swatches of all of their um, their brands of shirts. So like the street fleece, I love the Bella Camera street fleece. So there's the street fleece, there's the tri-blend. I don't usually get the tri-blend. Heather, I don't usually get that. And then the heirloom. So here are all of the colors and the swatches and all that jazz. So... Yeah, this was really cool sitting down and talking to him, networking, and also 
um, trying to see about getting hold to shirts wholesale and get things going. So yeah, that was super cool. And then we also sat down with Shimika. So Shimika is, um, why do I have two of those? Shimika is a um, heat transfer company and they sell heat transfer materials. Um, so I have a couple of loose cards here, but they gave us a fold out of what all they offer. So the, where is it at? I'm pretty sure that's what this is. So the, they have hot mark print revolution, quick flex revolution, hot mark, first mark, metallic, bling bling star, galaxy, bling bling mirror, Fashion collection, um, sun mark, which is outdoor HTV, have visibility reflective HTV, dark light glow in the dark, and upper block velvet touch HTV. So, oh, and sublimation ink um, stuff. So this is a chart of all of their stuff. So hot mark revolution, which is on this page right here, this first one. That goes on cotton, polyester, acrylic, blends, nylon. It's a 22nd um, press. You can peel it warm or cold. Uh, oh, sorry. No, your first press is five seconds at 285, and then your second press is 15 seconds at 285. Um, and then you got quick flex revolution so this is the versatile htv this one is super soft water-based htv the quick flex revolution um and then it's it's a little thicker than that one and then you have hot mark which is a which is the thinnest htv with the widest color range which is right here hot mark it is 55 micron so that's a lot thick thinner then the other two, which is uh, 75 and 90 respectively. And then you got first mark, which is right here. First mark, those are the colors. That one is HTV, most competitive of PVC. Um, and then your metallic is down here at the bottom that they offer. Um, and then they have the glitter vinyl. Then they have a galaxy vinyl, which is also um, a glittery. And then they have mirror, which is down there at the bottom. And then there's the fashion collection with the animal print. Um, sun vinyl for outdoor HTV. And then, like I said, reflex high visibility. And then finally, flock. And that's flock for shirts. It was very soft, actually. I love the way their, their uh, flop vinyl feels for shirts. So that's Chimica. Even though you would look at it and say Chimica, but he did call, he did say Chimica US. And this is the color guide. And here's the um, Hot Mark Revolution sample. I love the way these feel. I love the way these feel. Um, and he had, um, as you'll, you can see in one of the videos I put on Instagram, where I scanned his table and you can see, you know, the different things pressed on the different shirts. So yeah, that's why I love a swag, a good swag bag. I'm all for it. All for a good swag bag, Char. All right. So that's Shimica. Um, we also sat down and talked to Sawgrass, which was super cool. Um, Sawgrass gave us, what did they give? Oh, they gave us luggage tags but it's on my bag, my travel bag. So I can't show it to you, which is fine. Um, so we did sit down with, with Sawgrass. That was fun. Um, we sat down also with DTF Station and got to see the really cute DTF machines. They're so small and super cute. They're like, yay big, no kidding. Very small footprint and it holds a roll. So yes, it's eight and a half by 11, but the roll stretches. So it's like, you know, your width is regulated, but you can go as long as the roll lasts. So that was nice. Um, and they come in the super cute colors. They got a color 
that's just like um, tealy over there. They also had pink, and then they had gray. I think it was gray. Um, and I told them, y'all tripping, you need purple. Okay, so we talked about purple. Um, Epson was there. Okay, so Epson, actual manufacturers from Epson, representatives were there. So the way they did it, they allowed each one of the um, uh, content creators um, in a small group sit down and we all took turns going to go visit each one of these vendors. And so three of us got to sit down and like grill Epson, okay? And so Epson has, you know, clued on and, and caught the clue that we are taking their printers and we're converting them, right? And so Epson is like, time out, stop converting our printers. Like, we, this is a legit conversation we had sitting with them. And they was like, that's not what you need to be doing. Don't convert the printers. We have printers you can purchase. Okay, the printers that you have for us to purchase they were showing us they do have one that's an eight and a half. I think it would do eight and a half by 14, uh, but an eight and a half by 11. And that printer was uh, $444 or something like that. If I'm remembering correctly, it was a sublimation printer. Okay. Like that's what it was made for. So you don't have to convert anything, yada, yada, yada. And then they switched and was like, okay, so we have two printers we're showing you guys that you can get from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Here's the other printer. And the other printer was a 24-inch sublimation printer. And that printer was like $2,300, $2,400. And, you know, I'm sitting there like, hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. How you going to have... Four hundred and something dollar printer. Okay, let's round up the five. Five hundred dollar printer, and then skip all the way to twenty four inches and a twenty five hundred dollar printer. Who didn't pay that no attention? This was I'm serious. This was a conversation that we had. Patrice can vouch for that. So it was like y'all missing the memo. So many of us are converting your printers that do thirteen by nineteen. So Eight and a half by eleven ain't big enough. Oh well, that's what we have, and 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 I don't. We should. I don't understand how we missed that. I don't understand how you missed that either, fam. Somebody really wasn't listening to the peoples, because the peoples was out here converting the seventy seven twenties workforce, the seventy seven ten workforce. You know anything that allowed us to do bigger than eight and a half by eleven, fam. We was snatching them off the shelves, and we were converting them. Even like I told him, I even have the fifteen thousand Echo Tank. I converted it, even though it's not sublimation, but I still converted it because it's like y'all are offering this stuff. I don't want to say too little too late because I do appreciate the effort. Thank you for at least paying attention, but you're missing a wide range of crafters. So I want you guys to put in the chat whether or not you would want, you would be satisfied with eight and a half by 11. At 400 and something dollars. Put in the chat, yes or bigger. Yes or bigger. I'm not talking about 24 inch because, yeah, 24 inches there, but who who can swing 2,500 for every piece of equipment they got in their shop? You know what I'm saying? So, and he was like, yeah, I keep hearing 13 by 17. I keep hearing bigger. I was like, at least 11 by 17. What the heck? You know, just come on. Come on, y'all. Come on. So we did. We did get to sit and talk with them. And we did get to voice our concerns whether or not they were legitimately listening and willing. You know, because it's interesting how some manufacturers, they listen, but they're not willing to meet the needs of the people. They feel like we should be okay with this. I mean, we're making this sacrifice for you. And then it was to the point to where he was kind of like scare tactic, so to speak, because he was like, you shouldn't be um, 
doing HT because this is the thing. This is the, listen, Linda, listen, 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 Linda, listen. I need to get on my soapbox for a second. Time out. I need to get on my soapbox because y'all know how Heffa is, right? I look at trends and I, I don't know why or how I see trends. The good Lord looked out for me in that because the math, he knew I was lacking. So he was like, let me help this pole baby out because she need help. So we were um, discussing trends, not we, but before with you guys, I was discussing that with you guys trends at one point. And we jumped on a lot of trends on this channel. We 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 spearheaded letting you know trends were there on this channel. For instance, when COVID was starting, I said, y'all, y'all need to be doing face masks. You need to figure out a sewing machine. You need to figure out something to get these face masks going. Did I, did I not? Y'all know that. Then um, going back even further than that, I caught wind of, you remember that kitchen oven mitt thing with Candia? You know, I'm like, fam, this is bomb.com. Y'all need to jump on that trend. A lot of folks jumped on that trend. Um, right now, rhinestones is hot. I'm telling y'all jump on this trend because it's hot right now. Um, but going back when we were, when because from day one, when I first learned about vinyl, and making vinyl shirts, right? My thing was, I hated weeding. I can't do pictures. There has to be a better way to do t-shirts for us. There has to be a better way, right? And so I could not find a better way out there. Then sublimation became hot. And I'm like, fam, this is it. This is a good thing do the sublimation. But then as we were getting into the sublimation with the shirts, I'm talking about shirts, I was like, mm, I don't know, because you can only do white, you know, and it, from my standpoint. But then, you know, some folks learn how to do all over sublimation. I'm happy for them. I'm proud of them. Y'all are really learning to work the sublimation and make it do what you needed to do, right? And so that was good. But then I was like, okay, sublimation, but then, we still we we still missing. There has to be an answer. And I knew DTG was out there. But the problem with DTG was the machine was too big and it cost too much. So you got this big, huge DTG machine, $12,000 daggum dollars. Oh, that was the cheapest. And then not only did you have to have the DTG machine, you had to have the treatment thing unless you did the treatment hack thing but you had to have the treatment thing you spray the shirt let the shirt dry hover under the dang heat press blah blah then you can press the shirt and then you gotta repress it it was drama and then sometimes the platen didn't have work it wouldn't pull the shirt in it was drama so i was like that can't be it so i kind of gave up for a little bit but then fast forward a year or two years i think it was right at about two years i said let me see how much dtg is now maybe the price don't come down so I type in DTG in the Google search. I, I kid you not, this is how it's all going down. Typed in DTG and DTF popped up. And I'm like, DTF, what's that? I started reading and looking into what DTF was. That's the answer. That was the answer at the time. Y'all, bam, DTF is it. I'm telling y'all, get into DTF. We started trying to find ways to get DTF. We actually was able to get a DTF machine. Um, big boy was doing his inks. DTF was hot. And I told y'all DTF is hot. You need to jump on it. If you can do transfers, even if you're not doing shirts yourself, this is a really good answer for doing t-shirts is t-shirts only. I ain't talking about other stuff. T-shirts only. This is good. Or you can print transfers for people who can't afford to get a DTF machine. You need to jump on that. There's a couple of folks who did. I ain't finna name drop, but they did. And they're doing very darn well right now but i'm just saying not i don't know everything because i don't but i'm just saying i saw the trend and i'm like jump on this right so dtf is what was hot and it's still hot it's so hot to the point that when we went to the graphics pro expo the majority of the folks there <laughs> was dtf stuff it's crazy we not we did not see a sublimation booth we did not see a sublimation booth 
at all. We saw when we saw DTG, they were promoting it as a DTG plus DTF machine in one. That's the way they were promoting those machines at the Graphics Pro Expo. They knew DTF was hot. That's why so many vendors there were either DTG or DTF machines or they were selling transfers. It was one or the other. That's how hot DTF is right now. And so when I sit in front of Epson and Epson is like, this is the machines we have. It's sublimation. You shouldn't be doing DTF. It's going to kill you. You shouldn't be breathing that stuff in. That's the worst thing you can do for your lungs, blah, blah, blah. You might as well, fam, just, I mean, there's some truth to that. There is some truth. The fumes from DTF is not the best thing you should be breathing, but you don't, why are you trying to scare me away from that to come to you? I'm, I was trying to, I was trying to figure this out. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah. 100% feeling Epson. I'm feeling Epson, but I'm not 100% feeling Epson because it'll, it's just, I didn't, I didn't, the vibe was off. The vibe, the vibe was off. So, anyway, off my soapbox now, going back to Heat Transport Warehouse, the vibe wasn't 100% there. Um, as far as, you know what I'm saying? When, like, for instance, with Sawgrass, Sawgrass made it absolutely 100% clear. We're here for you. We we hear you. We're doing this for you. We're doing that for you. As a matter of fact, if I don't forget, I'll show you what Sawgrass has done now for those of us who love our Sawgrasses and use our Sawgrasses. And they're even doing it for folks that don't have a Sawgrass. It's so cool. It's so cool. So, um, right? You got to be careful with the sublimation fumes. Girl, don't get me started on that. But Sawgrass was like, yes, we love y'all. We doing this for y'all. We're here for y'all. Da, 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 da. And Epson was like, yeah, well, I mean, we did this. You should be okay. Well, I guess we, we'll talk to the things. And I mean, but this is what we're doing. And this is what we have. That was the vibe. And I was like, huh, okay. Well, anyway. And not to knock them. I love Epson. I have an Epson sitting right over there. I've had Epsons from day one with my first uh, work for work for work for seventy seven ten because I didn't have the twenty. I had the ten, um, and I loved my seventy seven ten until it died. I mean, I used it and it did very well for a heifer. I kid you not. So you know, I'm not knocking Epson, but that was just like I appreciate the effort. A little bit more effort would be really nice because the crafting community has gotten Epson paid very, very well. So it seems like you would be a little bit more grateful. I appreciate them showing up now. Don't get it twisted. I do appreciate them showing up. That's a very positive step in the right direction. All I'm saying is keep on coming. Keep on and show a little bit more love, Epson. Just a little bit more love. We, we're a Philly good community. We like hugs and we like love. We don't like to be talked down to. We don't like to be, oh, you're this, that, and other, or you should be doing. No, I don't need you telling me what I should should be doing. That ain't your place. Love me for helping to make you money. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So anyway, that's that's my soapbox. We also, let me go back up here, had a sawgrass. My experience was not good. Converted an Epson uh, 7720 that made me want to do sublimation. I have the Epson F. 179 and F570. The colors are not always on point on the 7720. That was my problem with the 7710. And so he did um, answer what the situation was with why the colors was off. So the issue with why the colors are off sublimating with a converted Epson printer, he said it's because that's not a printer that's made for sublimation ink. So he said the printers are configured, which it made all the sense in the world. I couldn't even be bad at that part. It makes sense. The printers are configured to work with the pigment ink. So the print head knows exactly how much 
ink and how much of each color needs to come out of that print head to make a specific color so that it can get the truest, the richest um, image that it's supposed to. Y'all, it makes sense. So when you're introducing an ink that is not the pigment ink that is configured to go with that printer, well, the printer is telling the print head to put out pigment ink quantities and colors, whereas you're introducing a whole different kind of ink and a whole different shade and colors because their colors of their pigment inks are set dead on. This is the right black. This is the right yellow. This is the right cyan. This is the right magenta, whereas sublimation inks because you're putting in third-party sublimation inks, fam. So these other manufacturers of the sublimation inks don't have Epson's color schemes of the, the ink colors. So their coloration is going to be off in comparison to the pigment ink that's supposed to be in that printer. So it makes sense as to why the colors were always off, why I was always in tears trying to figure out how to get these colors to match until we found the hack about doing the swatches and all that jazz. And then I kind of figured it out from there, but it makes sense. And so that's the other reason why he was like, stop converting just by the printer that it's made for sublimation with the right ink in it. And then you won't have to worry about snotting and crying. It'll be the right thing, right? I couldn't be mad. Sawgrass has that ace in spades. My printer amazing absolutely love my sawgrass the colors are always on point every single time i have the sg 500 i i do not hate now when i first got it installing the software and the drivers was a whole pain in the whole wide but i don't know why it was so difficult but it's been approved since then i absolutely love it you ought to see the new interface they got it is awesome absolutely love sawgrass so i do intend to get the bigger sawgrass so hopefully that'll be coming down the pipes soon. Um, we'll try and purchase that when I get back. But at any rate, um, so yeah, Epson was there. That was fun. Let me go back. I think I saw another question. Blue paper scissors, DTF is the best. I'm printing now. You kind of you have to kind of print every day to keep the inks going. Yes, you do. That is one of the downsides to DTF and DTG is the white ink because the white ink needs to be continuously flowing so that the um, ink will stay, you know, the right consistency. It's kind of almost like, uh, I'm trying to think of what's something that would settle, you know, in your refrigerator. I don't know. Y'all throw something out there that would settle, you know, and you have to make sure you shake that sucker up before you go to use it. Otherwise, you're going to be drinking watery mess on top and the good stuff be down at the bottom. So that's the same because the white ink the is made with titanium and the titanium is heavy. So those heavy solids sink to the bottom, which is why if you don't, you know, get that flow going and make sure that your stuff is circulating properly and your ink settles, then when you go to print the DTF or the DTG, it comes out milky white, if any white at all, because you're printing with water at this point because all your titanium has sink to the bottom. The white has sunk. So that is definitely a downside to the um, white ink. And we're going to address that here in a minute um, as to a solution that we did talk about at the Wallapalooza. So I'm going to go down and see um, Gail. I just got my sawgrass. I had my sawgrass for three years. Just got notification to order the ink. Um, and yes, the ink orange juice, that's a good one, OJ. That's a perfect one. Um, the ink is pricey, but the if you're doing a lot of sublimation, the ink lasts in my transfers. I don't have to buy sublimation ink a whole lot because, and then imagine how much ink I was wasting not getting the colors right with the other printer. So I was wasting paper and ink printing stuff and the colors was off and wasting the blank because the blank would be wasted the paper would be wasted and the ink come on fam the sawgrass is a no-brainer when it comes to sublimation salad dressing butter milk sour cream i know right thank you i appreciate that um so yeah the 
and and I don't even think it's overpriced. It's not overpriced. It's priced accordingly because sublimation is okay. Let me put it this way: it's not overpriced in comparison to struggling. You can struggle for cheaper, or you can pay what makes sense for a good quality product and not struggle. It's up to you. So we're going to go to the next vendor that we saw out there and I'll show you um, what else they said. And also come to find out from Epson that Sublimation Inc. is organic. It's made from organic materials. So when you are refilling cartridges, like opening the bottle and pouring the ink with the funnels into a cartridge, as soon as you open Sublimation Inc., it has a three-month life span, and it breaks, starts to break down. So Sublimation Ink is a three-month ink, and then it starts to break down. I don't know what that 100% means, but that's what they said. That was another thing they was scare texting in for. All right. Teresa Wright. Not to clog nozzles and not to have your colors off. I gladly pay that and have been playing that. The sawgrass colors is spot on. I love my sawgrass. So this is the next vendor that we went to that kind of started a heifer of questioning <laughs> what she's been doing all along and looking at Mr. McQuacken's like, trying to do the baby eyes, you know, honey. I love you, you know. So we got to see the vendor Creo. It's a white toner transfer printer, the Creo. This is a laser printer, a white toner laser printer. Fam, when I tell y'all his presentation was so spot on, he had a half a question in her motives and what she been doing all along. I kid you not, he really did. Because it goes right back to something I just said about the sawgrass. So with the Creo, it's the white toner printer. He did have the white toner printer there. He did show us shirts that he did. He showed us a mug that the white toner transfer was put on the mug. Fam, you couldn't even feel it. It was. It, it almost felt like it was sublimated on the mug. And it was not. It was a white toner transfer that was on that mug. Um white toner um you can do transfers for tattoos you can do transfers for shirts you could do transfers for um oh uh um mylar balloons so you can go to dollar tree in mylar balloons and you can put um a transfer on there which was super cool um you can do um Oh, he was like, like I said, doing the mugs and stuff. You can go to Dollar Tree and get mugs. Like for sublimation, you have to have a coated mug in order to sublimate on it. But with the white tone and transfer, you don't have to have that. You can get a mug from anywhere. It don't have to have no coating and you can put stuff on the mug. Fam, I'm telling you, his his presentation, I was like, mm, we, might need to, we, we might need to save up some money or something. Okay. So he showed the printer. Now the baby printer, which is right here, um, the Creo 8432WDT, this one right here. This one, I was like, look, I saw your Creo in the past. And my thing was, I just couldn't get past that $6,000 price tag. And he looked at me real funny. And he was like, $79.95. And I was like, Lord, don't have to have a girl doing extra special papers for Mr. McQuackens. I'm just saying. So that I can tap into his wallet. I'm just, that's, oh, oh, that's a little bit higher than a heifer was expecting. And he was like, but here's the thing. I'm telling y'all his presentation was spot on. Here's the thing. I'm telling you all this stuff you can do laser transfers on. I told you all the different things. Yes, the ink, the price of the printer is pricey. 
the ink is is pretty is about similar to the sawgrass ink but you don't get clogs <laughs> no clogs you can do t-shirt transfers no clogs you can cut the printer off walk away for a year come right back turn that printer on and it will print as if nothing ever happened no clogs and i was like damn y'all got a credit card or something i can sign up for well, you know what i'm saying i mean because it ain't just, ain't but so many favors i have again because i mean you should you y'all need a y'all need a influencer can i be can i be can you adopt me, please? Y'all, I want one. I want one. I really do. I doubt I'll get it, but I would love to have one because there was a whole ton of stuff that you really can do with the white toner printer. It really is. And I was I was impressed. Um, again, with all the things that are out there, nothing's perfect. It is an investment, but... This is a good investment. It's a good investment for that reason alone, especially so. Okay, so let me back up. Let's back up first. So this is a really good investment. Um, sawgrass, sawgrass will clog, yes, but the way the sawgrass is made, it unclogs itself. Is exactly what the sawgrass, um representative was telling me telling me because i told her i love my sawgrass because i kid you not we've had work done on the house the power off on off on off on because i don't even want to get into that power has been an issue because we had to have electrical work done so whenever the power is shut off this does not auto this this does not auto turn back on so once the power goes off it's off and I'm just like, forget to cut it back. Like, it's on now. I went to close up my silhouettes because we're leaving. And I happened to realize my sawgrass wasn't on. And I told her it was off for, I kid you not, like a month to a month and a half since the last time I had printed with it prior to the last time I was talking to her about what I did. And I said, and I turned it on. It did something. And then it printed as if nothing ever happened, right? And she said, that's because even with the machine turned off, when you turn it back on, it knows how long it's been off. It knows that once you turn it back on. And it's like, okay, y'all, this heifer tripping. She, she, I'm she waking me up. And it's been. 60 days? No, she did not do me like this, y'all. All right, let me check my tubing. And it checks the tube. Oh, this heifer got blue claws, y'all. I got to do some extra cleaning on blue because she tripping and she had me off for 60 days. And it knows to clean 60 days worth of cleaning and, and get that clog purged. That's how intuitive the software is on that salt grass. That's how intuitive it is. So they already know that, yes, sublimation ink does clog. So it's built into it to know how to unclog itself. White toner printer don't even have to worry about that. It doesn't care. It's like, cut me off. I don't care. I'll be here for you and caress your beautiful face when you return and turn me back on. I'm here for you. That's the white toner printer and the laser. It's laser, laser printer. I have a black and white laser printer and I love it. And not only that, y'all, oh my God, why did I find out? White toner printer, right? It comes with, let me make sure, let me, let me read this right because I was like, what? It comes with the cyan, the magenta, the yellow, and the black. Or you take the black toner uh, cartridge out 
and swap it for white. And that's where you get the white from. Or they have neon cartridges as well so that you can print neon colors. Or they have metallic cartridges where you can print metallic or y'all it's just it's like it goes on and on and on that white tonal toner printer is so versatile it can do a lot of stuff y'all i was pleasantly surprised so they also have a bigger one i didn't even ask how much this bigger one was because it really it really was no point in me asking because you know Mr. McQuackens will trade me in on this one. He he be like, okay, you doing the most. It's time to get rid of you. So this one, I didn't even ask, but they do have a bigger one. Um, but this one is eight and a half by, so the largest it'll do is 11 inches wide and up to 52 inches long. But it it does do 11 inches wide. So you can go a little bit bigger actually than um, the eight and a half, but it's 11 inches wide. So the white toner was super cool. Uh, we sat down and talked to them. No weeding, no pre-treating, full color, high resolution, um, print to profit, maintenance free. So yeah, this is the these are really valid reasons. And so when you make that type of an investment, does the sawgrass have the maintenance box limitation? I don't know. I've never asked, but I would assume so because most of the um most liquid ink printers have that yes laser does not you don't have to worry about that at all with laser um but the cool thing is yes the paper that you have to print on the films for the white toner is more expensive the ink the toner rather more expensive the printer itself more expensive but that's when you're doing these specialty things um in smaller quantities um and you're charging for them you know you 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 actually really need to be charging what you should be charging for some of these items okay so yeah the large creole is 13.995 yeah i don't think mr mcclarkins would be too happy with me on that so yeah so that was a really cool vendor that we sat down and met with so let's move on so that i don't run up y'all's time um because i still have yet to tell you about prints i need red so one of the white toner items flake over time so he did mention that there is a washability factor there that mimics uh screen print he said just like screen print eventually flakes um the white toner will too and to be quite frank anything that you're gluing to the surface of your shirt is going to eventually wear off some wear off sooner than others so whether that be uh screen printing whether that be um vinyl whether that be uh dtf or even dtg um or whether that's um the white toner it it's based on an adhesive that is allowing whatever you're putting on the shirt to be applied to the shirt just think about it with white well you may not know but with white toner in order for you once you print the transfer it's it's printed on the the film but you have to take a glue layer attach it to the printed layer press it on the heat press but once you take it off the heat press and you peel it apart, the glue stays attached to the ink only. So you don't have to weed anything. Then you press that to the shirt. So with lay with the white toner, you take your you print it out, get your glue sheet, put it there, press it, peel it apart, and then press it. DTF, you print your DTF on the film. Then you get your DTF glue powder and coat it on the back side of the ink, right? You've seen it over and over. I've done it here in other channels. Then you put that through some kind of way to heat that up, whether it be in the oven, whether that be, you know, in the pass through or whether that be hovering, you know, with the heat press hovering over the top to melt that glue and get that glue to stick to the ink so that then you can press it to the shirt 
and then press it again to seal it, right? Um, 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 God, what's the name of it? I just said it. Um, screen print, screen print. You, it's not any. You don't have to uh, add glue, but the consistency of the screen print is where you uh, press that ink onto the shirt, and the the way that ink is made, it's kind of a glue itself, right? So then you you press press it through the screen on the shirt, and you do the next color, next color, blah blah blah. Then you have to. Put heat to it, just like you have to do the other two to get it to stick to the shirt. Vinyl. What does vinyl have on the back of it? Glue. So once you do your weeding, it has the glue adhesive stuff on the back. You turn over your transfer. You press it to the shirt. It sticks to the shirt. Rhinestones. Hot fix rhinestones. They have the glue on the back of them that helps it adhere to the shirt. You press it. All of this involves glue. So the glues break down over time. Washing it, all of these are applied with heat. So the more you wash in hot water, dry in a hot dryer, it's breaking down that glue over time, over and over and over and over. So everything that you do, with the exception of sublimation and embroidery, Everything else is going to break down over time. But like AJ Harris says, it should last around 50 washes if washed correctly. Rhinestones included. Vinyl included. Um, screen print included. All of this. That's just that's a factor of what we do. It's all involving heat applied substances that have heat applied glue. Okay? Make sense? Make sense? All right. Let's move on. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Um, the next company that I'm gonna show y'all is this company. I'm trying to find the other name to this company, Polytape Group. So the Polytape folks, they kind of have a whole lot of stuff going on. What was the price tag? Price tag of which one, my love? What price tag? I don't know. Um, if you're talking about the uh, Creole, the white toner laser, it was $79.95, so $8,000. And then the larger one, um, someone put the price tag $13,995, so $14,000. The Creole, yep, yeah, it was $8,000. Um, so the Polytape heat transfer vinyls, these guys, heat transfer. There was a lot of heat transfer vinyl there. And if you purchase from Heat Transfer Warehouse, they have a lot of different brands of heat transfer vinyl. Okay. So, oh, it's $81.95 on heat on uh at Heat Transfer Warehouse. So they probably just bump it up a little bit. Um, so they have Polyflex Premium. Here's all the colors. These are like just pictures. Um, they have Polyflex Flex Turbo. This was pretty cool. Because this particular uh, Polyflex Turbo, this is vinyl. And, and so we weeded the vinyl. Um, we weeded their vinyl. Hold on. It's right here somewhere. Okay. So, like, here's an example. This is the Thermoflex Turbo sample. And we weeded this. And as you see, it's backwards. But this, it, it weeded. It didn't rip and tear as I was weeding it, which was super cool. Um, and this is neat because you press this most of the time when I'm doing my vinyl, um, from other companies, I'm doing 350 degrees roughly for about 12 seconds. This is 265 degrees. So almost a hundred degrees cooler for five seconds and it's done five seconds. The Thermoflex Turbo. Five seconds. So it's saving you a good almost eight seconds of time. And that sounds crazy to say that. I swear it does. But eight seconds adds up. I'm just saying. Um, this is also really good for your super sensitive fabrics that can't take higher heat. So this is good because it's 265 degrees. So this is really neat vinyl that can go on, you know, delicate things a lot better than your regular vinyl. And so here's the um, Polyflex Turbo. 
and the colors that they have available for it. And it's, you know, 58 different colors. It's washable, environmentally friendly, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So that's one of their films. Then they have blackout vinyl for, you know, darker stuff if need be. Then they also have nylon, which is super cool. Um, they had, you know, where we could see all of that. Then they also have glitter, vinyl, of course. Most of these companies do. Um, they have image um, because some of their vinyls have, you know, stuff to them, like, you know, the print and then, you know, graphic to it, the colors, blah, blah, blah. Um, then they have a reflective vinyl. Um, then they have tubotherm flock. Why is it tubotherm? I don't know what this is for. High quality heat transfer rayon flock. Oh, my bad. Flock. Duh. So they have a flocked vinyl. They have a stretch. They have flame retardant for firemen like satin and silk. Yes, that is correct. That would go really well on those because of the low heat, but I would still test, especially that silk. I wouldn't necessarily do silk. Um, so yeah, they had, and then they got a a handy cheat chart that will help you, you know, remember what you're supposed to be doing with their stuff. Um, and then they also gave us like, here's the Polyflex Turbo with the samples so that you can feel the vinyls. So this is the Turbo, the one that um, presses in five seconds. Um, and then here is the Polyflex Premium, which is their regular, you know, heat transfer vinyl. And here is, you know, where you can fill it here. Um, and then there's also specialty materials part of their company. Specialty materials um, is a subsidiary. Like it's, they're side by side. They work together. Um, they're the same company, but like different divisions, so to speak, I guess. And so they have other materials um, in their company. Um, rhinestone flock, they say, reflection decoration, reflection protection, soft metallic, sparkle, textile foils. Um, so they have other stuff there. Yeah, because these specialty graphics had the rocket flock at one point. They don't have it right now. Um, but a thing that they did have that I thought was uber cool is they have a sublimation um fabric and i think it's in this book but i can't find it right away but she gave me a sample of it and it's called um cfp flex okay uh no i'm sorry 5902t liberty subly liberty subly is what this is called right and so it's a satiny looking I don't know how well that's showing because of my lighting, but it's very sad. Oh, you can see the sheen a little bit from back here. It's very satiny feeling, but it's on the paper. So what that means is I can take this, I can print my sublimation, whatever, right? With the registration marks, press it on here, and then put it in the Cricut or the silhouette and it will read the sublimation marks like paper and cut out around this and you can peel it off and you have a sublimation uh thingy hold on where did i put that uh, here no no i have a sublimated because they gave us a sublimated um lion head uh oh i don't know what i just oh here it is so here is the sublimated lion head that was kiss cut out and so i can take this and press it onto cotton or whatever and it is um sublimated and it, as you see it was kiss cut i thought that was super neat so i'm definitely going to try that out as soon as I get an opportunity, I'm excited. Um, the other and final vendor that I'm going to show tonight, because um, it's 1020, is Supercolor. Um, they gave us a package of um, their transfers. 
Um, and they have really nice transfers um, that they had there for us to look at. And the one that I really, 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 really liked was the one for hats. And the one for hats is a really nice thickness to it. And you can put it on because I prefer the ball caps that have the seam. You know, it's, I think that's called five panel or six panel. I can't remember. But the seam goes down the front. So you really can't do too much decorating on that. You can do embroidery, but sometimes it breaks the needle right there. Well, they have a transfer that you can order from them and it can press right over the top of that seam and the seam does not come through. It doesn't press and crease the transfer, which I thought was really cool. So I have a pack of all kinds of transfers um, with super color and all the different ones that you can get from super color. And I think you can, yeah, you can order super color from heat transfer warehouse, but I love the headwear one. That's, that was my favorite. So I have transfers, but I mean, showing you transfers really ain't the same as showing it on a shirt or whatever. So hopefully we can take a chance to um, press some stuff on down the road and you can see, you know, super color. So at any rate, six pound, thank you. So yeah, these were the vendors that we went to go see you guys. It was fun. It was fun. So what I'm going to say to you is if you have a channel and you're looking to expand into um, other avenues of making money um, with your influencing and your, um, you know, content creation, then definitely Heat Transfer Warehouse has been fun to work with them. They do have affiliate links that you can provide to your viewers. Now, this is for the folks that want to, you know, do affiliate. Um, they have links that, that you can use and you can link to your viewers and you make money. But at the same time, they also work with quite a few vendors, a lot of vendors that are um, actually have some really cool um, products that will help you um, show people how to do things as well as help you make money yourself if you're actually filling orders um, for custom items like we generally do here um, with our crafting. Okay. So that's that for those. Now I wanted to show you guys um, really quick. Actually, let's take a so-called commercial break even though it's not a commercial break um and i would oh and we saw silky socks oh my god how can i forget that we saw silky socks we were able to press our own socks right there on the spot that was fun i meant to bring them so that i can show them to you but they're back yonder i found the purple socks i was able to press and it turned out super cute it was so easy to do and i have some extra socks so we're going to be um pressing the extra socks when i get back and we're able to do that um so when we um let's see actually let's go here um let's see i'm gonna show y'all a couple of pictures like here's here's Let's do this. I got a couple of views. So here's the Shimika um, counter. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Um, there's the Shimika counter. Um, let's see. There's how they had the um, transfers on their stuff. And then I think this is a video too, a little bit you know, better of a video showing a lot more of what they had um, on the table. The reflective stuff was really pretty. I didn't take a lot of pictures, you guys. You know, it was like, eh, do I really wanna take a bunch of pictures and videos? Because I actually had a lot of fun um, you know, learning and meeting people and stuff. So I was enjoying that. 
and didn't want to be bogged down by, you know, a camera all the time. Um, so that was my thing with that. And let's see, I'm trying to show you some other stuff, I guess. The rest of the stuff, I don't want to show you, you know, like the food and stuff that was kind of boring. I may go into detail a little bit more another time, um, a downtime or something, but I met a lot of people and had a really good time um, because I want to show y'all this instead, and we'll get to that in a minute. But I went bigger because my honey brought the socks. And so here are my socks that I made. It's flip the switch on one side. So when you get the socks from Heat Transfer Warehouse, the foot part is one color. This is cotton. And this is the sublimatable part up here. And so it was already purple. Um, and then, oh, you know what I get to show you. So up here at the top, it says flip the switch. And then over here on the back, it says on time to win. And it turned out super cute with that purple. Like, he had a ton of transfers you could choose from. Like, Ali. Um, it was a ton of stuff. So, the cool thing that I that we noticed was the weight. Because we were, like, not able to really, like, take time to press these properly. But when you put the transfer on, it came down further than the sublimation line so you can barely see where it's a little bit darker right here right well it was much darker than that with ink um because it came down a little too far and he was like you know so when you do it at home yourself make sure to trim your transfer and bring it where you know it's a little bit closer so you don't overlap that much like that but when you wash it it'll go away and he's right like you can barely see where it's darker it was much darker than that Valerie E, thank you so much for the soup chat. Woo! Holla! <laughs> yes, honey. And congratulations on your 11 months, my dear. So yeah, this is um, this was my 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 silky socks that I made. I love my silky socks. As a matter of fact, when as soon as I got done with these silky socks, I put these suckers on, fam. Because I was like, they're so cute. And I had on something that went with it. And so it was it was really cute. Um, and then we, um, they're comfy. That was the other thing. They're very, very comfy, super comfy. Um, and so I want to show you guys this. Let's see. Um, so this is, let's go here. Let's do this. So I was in Minneapolis. We had a layover. So I'm going to show you guys real quick. Um, the print store that I went to, y'all, uh, y'all, y'all, I could barely film this. I could barely film this video because I was so overcome with emotion. It was like, I was trying real hard not to start sobbing in this store because it was just so exciting to finally make it and to be in the store surrounded by things that reminded me of one of my only, oh my God, drop to the floor dead moments. Like I can make the weekend. He's fine. Yeah. I can. And I'd be like, oh, that's what's up. Da, da, da. But this one right here, I would probably just drop dead if, well, I mean, of course, cause he's gone, but then that would be weird. But I'm just saying back in the day, I probably would have just like fell all the way out. Right. And so here's the video of going in. She said Terminal 1. Yeah, that was Terminal 1. Um, and I got to see the Prince store. So that was super awesome. Um, and it was, a, it was, it was, I needed it. <laughs> I needed it. Um, and let me see. I can show you some more static pictures. Let's see. Sharon Davenport, you have a good night, my dear. Holler. Good night. <laughs> Thank you so very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Um, let's see, real quick, I'm gonna show you some more, a couple of more pictures, and then I'll show you some of the things I got. So, like, this is a really nice picture um, of where you, they go back and do the what's the face and some shirts and stuff. Um, jewelry counter right there is where I got my necklace from, from sitting right there. Um, some more print shirts, y'all. It was just like I couldn't figure out what I wanted. I was like. They you you hear the same kid in the candy store? It was like dream come true in here. 
um, hats in the back. That's where I got my hat from. They had candles. They had tumblers. They had all kinds of stuff um, that you could get books. I wanted to get a book, so I'm hoping to be able to go back and get this book right here. Um, and then look, his guitar or a guitar. I don't know if that was his or not. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, because that's it in the picture. Oh, my God. Um, and then hoodies, mugs, and see right here in the glass case, they actually have um, papers that he made notes about songs and stuff on. See, handwritten lyrics, y'all. It was like, oh, my God, that's his handwriting. You know, that type situation. And I was like, oh, my God, get it together, Eve. So this is like his notations. I was taking pictures of all the different ones that I came across that was just like super awesome to see um, in his store. And those blankets, more shirts. I wish I had a, took a picture. They had a um, jacket there that was amazing that had like some sequins on it and stuff it was like eleven hundred dollars and it was way too little for anybody i know to wear it but y'all this this is this is what what you look at that <laughs> uh, ah you see that that cheese like that was just that was crazy I had a good time. Got to take a picture in the purple chair at the print store. So let me show you some of the things that I did get. And then what we'll do is then we'll also look at some of the rhinestone designs that we got this week from the rhinestone mechanic that you can use with your stones that you're going to order from the buy-in. And then we'll also talk really quick about colors that you should be looking for in the buy-in this time. And so here's a keychain that I got. This one is for my auntie. Um, it's a Prince keychain. And then I got another Prince keychain uh, right here. I'm probably going to put this one with the Prince keychain. She was pushing Barry gave me. And then I got some stickers. Don't know where I'm going to put them, but I'm going to put them somewhere. And uh, they will live wherever it is. I decide they should be honored and graced um, in my home. And then I got a magnet, a Prince magnet right here. And then I got my hat, which is sitting over there on the printer. I wore it when I first got it. I wore it on the live with Marilyn and them. And I vow to never hopefully wear it ever again. It's going to sit over there in all its glory. I was able to get me a blanket. So I love my blanket. It's so super soft. It is, um, what do you call it? Chanel? Not Chanel. It's sh sharp, sharp, sharp something. Whatever it is, I don't care. It's got prints on it. And it's super soft. I love it. And so I got a blanket. And then I got this because I was like, oh my God, that's super cute. It's a travel pillow with a face mask, which I thought was super cool. So I got me a face mask and a prints pillow. We'll probably never use it. We'll definitely not be traveling with it because if something happens to this pillow, um, I'm out traveling, I will have a whole freaking fit. And yes, you heard me say that correctly. I would just lose it right there, wherever the heck it is I'm at, if I get separated from this pillow. But it's not going anywhere. It's going to stay right here. And so that was the extent of my shopping trip. I did get a couple of things from my auntie, um, but I already sent that with her. And so it was fun. I had a real Sherpa. Thank you. I had a really, 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 really good time. And yes, I wore purple into the store. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Got me kind of feeling goosebumpy right now because of how awesome it was. And Mr. McQuackens just let me have a lot of fun. And it's just, I'm so grateful to him for that because a lot of husbands would probably be like, mm, you know, but he's he was a really good sport. Um, and he did not fuss, not one time when I started going through that place, trying to figure out what the heck I was going to spend my little bit of coin on. And he was just like, get it, you know? And that was really sweet of him because usually, um, I have to budget, but, and, and I think I did pretty darn good though. Cause you can easily rack up a bill in that store. You really could. Um, so I opted to just rack up on little things that wouldn't blow the bank. And uh, so that worked out really well for me. So now let's take a look at, 
our um, designs that were provided to us by the Rhinestone Mechanic this week. You guys, super ill designs. I'm loving all of these. Look at the baby unicorn. It's so cute. So we got a baby unicorn. Oh, we got our mystery box. So definitely check out your mystery box. Uh, queens are born in August. I did not mean to click on that like that. Um, queens are born in August. So we have that one. Um, and then he has the different months. But notice, I don't know if you see this or not, but notice how, excuse me, notice how these dots are bigger. It looks darker somewhat than the other ones. That's because these are two different rhinestone sizes in a lot of these. Okay. So just keep that in mind. This is mixed size stones. Okay, so yes, you gotta, um, you know, look at that. Uh, I hit the wrong thing. I do this every time. Uh, sorry about latest. Is that gonna work? Yes, it did. Okay, and so here we got um, the ship going on a cruise, showing what family really means. Um, and then we have, oh, let me go to this one because he was super cute. There's our unicorn. Super cute. It's SS10. And then we have a flamingo. Y'all know I love my flamingos. They're super cute too. But this one is a pocket um, size. So you can put these on pockets. You can put these on hat. Um, really cute design. So this is... Um, gonna go great on denim along with the flowers, as you can see here. And then we also, um, so look, that's really cute with those flowers. That's fun. And then more tulips. And then this one you can use coming up in October, uh, breast cancer awareness. So these ribbons give you your colors to let you know um you know what you support and it's really cute um to go on a pocket i absolutely love that that's adorbs it really is adorbs and it's ss10 is 400 stones so that would make a really nice you know addition to dress up um some jeans or something like that um and make a really cute statement for um our design so please be sure to tell him thank you right now they're on sale um, for 24 hours, I believe. And then after that, they go up in price, as you see the ones from last week did. So for right now, if you go ahead and grab them, then you'll get them at these prices. And then don't forget your mystery box for $2. It has designs in there as well. Love the tulips on the tush. I need, right? <laughs> and then need this one. You're going on a cruise in December. Nice, Lena Doyle. Let me know how that cruise go, girl. So yeah, definitely um, go over there and grab you some designs. Now, as we mentioned, the buy-in has started. Um, let's see. Um, let's see if this pulls up what I want to see. Mm. Nope, that's not the right one. Let's look at it. Let's go here. Maybe it wasn't on their website. No, that's not it. So when one of the other vendors that we were able to see um, and, and work with was Pinterest. And Pinterest had a um, trend report that or calendar that showed 
where people do things and where they shop based on the calendar, right? And so like, for instance, this time of year is when people start shopping for the winter holidays. Um, but it was a cool calendar because not only did it show um, holidays, because not everybody does holidays. I'm not a holiday person. But it also showed um, other things that people do um, and some of the things that they would shop for. And for the life of me, I cannot find that dang on um, calendar thing that they had because it was really, it was really good. Nope, that ain't it either. It was a really good calendar and it was pretty cool because it showed all 12 months and it had the dots that let you know um you know what trends and when to start shopping for the trends so we're just gonna say forget that since i can't find it um and understand so you're in july and keep in mind that whenever you place this order for this buy-in um then your order comes in 30 days later hey craftable things i don't think you missed much we were just going over some of the stuff that we learned at wallapalooza that's it um, so right now would not be the time to buy back to school rhinestones because back to school is now. Um, so by the time you get your stones at the end of the month, the kids are already back in school. Now, not saying you can't get back to school colors because teachers love bling shirts. I'm learning that it's super as it's hilarious to see because they like to wear things that's going to brighten up the classroom, that's going to, you know, make dress them up, make them fancy, something to show their support for what they do for the school. Teachers love bling shirts. So that could be something you could shop for and do for the kids. But so this is July. Um, August doesn't have any too much going on. Then you got September, which is the start of fall. October is the start of fall. So your fall colors are what you want to focus on right now. So your golds, your oranges, your um, reds, your deep reds, like your cyams. Um, you want to go with your neutral colors as well. So bring in like some arum, some um, jonquil, jonquil AB-ish colors. Those are the colors you want to focus on because we're starting to go into the muted colors. Let's take a look and see what the um, trending colors. You can do this. Trending colors for fall 2023. And let me share screen. So here are trending colors for fall. Let's go to actually i like pantone as well so man nah, that's that's team too much so here you've got the um fashion color trend report that's a nice rust right there um so they're looking at tender peach rose violet red orange viva magenta see this one is more like your cyan this is high visibility so like your citrine you're looking at um, tangerine and sun right here, or hyacinth, actually. Red, orange is more hyacinth. This is your hyacinth. Um, your violet volcano would go in good right here. Your fuchsia would go in good right here. Um, and then, of course, right here would be your champagne. I love champagne. Champagne is so underrated. Champagne would be a good color. Um, so these are your, your color trends. And then you got some brighter colors here. Um, which is cool to see um, that you can jump on. Uh, but that's how you want to look and see. We don't have a fall in Florida, I know. But that's how you look and see what colors are trending and what colors you want to focus on. So we're going to be coming up in, you know, the fall season, so to speak. So like your uh, Eclipse right here, a Burgundy AB. Um, we don't really have like a Burgundy AB. So you could probably do your Light Siam AB could possibly work for you. 
Um, and I can show it to you. I'll have to go get the uh, candy tray. Um, but your off-white, your uh, taupe, this is more like a light topaz. Light topaz would be good. Your Montana, excellent. Your Montana and your um, um, blue. I can't think right now. My brain is fried. Uh, but your darker blue colors. So this is what you want to do. Oh, coffee. Yeah, coffee would be a great one. So these are the colors that you want to be, be, you know, trending towards now. So that you already have them in hand when it's time to start doing your, uh, what are they, pumpkin spice drink shirts <laughs> or it's fall y'all shirts. Um your, uh, cause like you said, if Florida doesn't really have a fall, so you wouldn't necessarily possibly do fall, so to speak, but you still trend towards, um, a lot of the fall colors, so to speak. Crystal Volcano is a perfect mix of all these colors and could pass for a light burgundy AB. Thank you, Tianda. Thank you very much. So yeah, those are, that's where you want to be trending right now. Um, so that you can be a step ahead for the next season. Um, and then, so this is July. So in August and the end of September, then you want to start going with your winter colors. Um, actually, I would probably step back to the end of August when we do the August buy-in at the end of August. Start getting your winter colors then. Um, because y'all know, it. they already got winter holiday all over the stores now. It's just like y'all didn't even breathe good and let it cool down. The body ain't even cold yet. And y'all already done put some of the rest and started on with the next season. So because of that, you know, that's where you want to be steps ahead instead of purchasing. And then when it's time to use them, when you get them, it's like, well, shoot, I ain't even get to use them. I didn't make the shirts good. So you want to stay steps ahead when you're making your purchases. Um, and so the buy-in is open. The buy-in is open. It's it's ready for you. Um, and it will be there. Now, keep in mind, as I mentioned, I will be um, headed out of town this week for a forced vacation, which I'm excited about now. And so... Uh, the hot fix fix store may have a delay in the packages getting shipped out. Maybe, maybe not. Not sure. Um, my daughter in law says she's ready to take on the challenge. Um, so hot fix fix store is there, but the buy in is also going on, and those don't get shipped out to the end of the month. So you don't have to worry about that when you make your purchases from the buy in. Um, and then the um, bling fest for those of you who are interested in the bling fest we will be making a facebook group for those who actually purchase tickets to attend the bling fest um in person because we want to make sure that those who will be in attendance has all of the information that they need available to them um when the time comes i still have not released any information, any additional information um, in regards to the Bling Fest as far as the location, as far as who all is going to be in attendance um, and menus or anything like that. Um, I've given everybody basic information, but like I said, this is an exclusive event. Um, there will be security. There will be, it's not just you show up and you get in. That's not going to happen. Um, and even those who are purchasing tickets will not be getting location information until the very last possible second, because the only thing you need to know is it is in Charlotte, North Carolina, and the airport in Charlotte is CLT. If you're driving up, it ain't going to hurt you to wait to the last minute to find out where it's going to be, because this is not going to be, um, and it's exclusive and it's going to be amazing i cannot wait so um just keep in mind um we've also we're we're pretty much right at the cusp of being sold out of the um um accommodations tickets which include dinner and lunch um so 
we'll see how things go while I'm out of town. If we need to, then we will um, get some, uh, maybe find some extra rooms and get some extra rooms in there. But for right now, we're not sold out. So, which is a good thing. That's what I was praying for. And I'm excited to see everybody that chooses to come. And our influencers are super excited as well to attend and to meet all of you. And uh, it's just, it's really going to be a good time. As long as everybody comes, everybody is, you know, chill. This is not no hype, high energy, oh my God type situation. It's like, come, chill out, have a good time. No stress, no drama, no pressure. That's where, that's where we're going to be. So, and not all purchases will be accepted. Like, I'm just saying, if you're a troublemaker, you might not get to come. So, don't have your feelings hurt. Just look at how you interact with people and how you treat people. I'm just saying. I don't mean to be like that, but some some folks, I'm just saying. So anyways, I'm excited and I'm looking forward to everyone who does come. And I appreciate everyone who wants to come, even those who cannot attend in person. I understand. I get it. Um you know, we can't always be there, but as long as you want to be there in spirit, in my opinion, that's all that matters. I, it's just the fact that you want to be there is an honor. And I'm just, I'm really grateful to everyone who wants to be there. That's really cool. And it just makes me feel all warm and squishy inside. So thank you very, very much uh, for that. Live stream with the swag bag. Last second, bam. Last second. You will get it. I promise you'll get it. <laughs> I promise you. I got you, fam. I'm not finna fail, y'all. Not with this. This is this this too much. It's too much time, too much investment. We we got you. So just right now, let me get everybody lined up, get everybody in place, all the participants in place. Once all participants are in place, because the the in-person tickets will not last forever. Because we we about sold out, they're gonna start getting cut off soon. So I'm just saying, don't if you plan on trying to be there, don't sleep on them tickets because they're about to be turned off. Um, but once those tickets are turned off, that's when all of the communication channels will start to get open. You'll start to select the things that you want um, because it's gonna be you know personalized. A lot of this that's why it's being done the way it is, and we want everybody to really have a really good time. So. You know, we'll get your menu, we'll get your this, we'll get you that, and, you know, we'll get you squared away. So, just just give me, give me some time, give me some space. I got you, I promise. It will be on YouTube. It will not be on Zoom. It will be on YouTube. It will be a private link given to those who purchase to stream, and you can watch it. And it will not be allowed to be restreamed anywhere else. So... If you can't be there and watch it in person at that time, for a limited time, the stream will be available for that private link. You'll still be able to watch it for a limited time. So, like, you will have up to a certain amount of time to watch it. And if you don't watch it within that time and you don't pay for the ticket, I don't know what to take because I told you to go watch it. I'm just saying. So, yeah, it's going to be on YouTube. Tammy the bag lady. I would love to have you next year. That would be so much fun. And you'll have more advanced warning next year. So right now, a matter of fact, it's in November next year. We already know that. Um, Janet Brooks, it is on our website, uh, the baby's booty dot store. Oops. Uh, so how will you monitor if the link is shared with others? Uh, we now, this is the thing. This is the thing. <laughs> uh, you paying for the ticket. Now I ain't talking to you, Dems. I'm talking to whoever wants to purchase the live stream. You paying for the ticket. So if you want to cheat all the other people and yourself that paid for this ticket and share that link out, I'm going to try real hard to make sure that it's not shareable. But if you do, that's going to be on you. You're going to be the one looking real stupid because you paid for it. So why is you sharing this out and making, and these other people to pay for this ticket? 
you doing the other people dirty and yourself. Why would you do that? Don't do that, fam. That's why would you do that? Don't do that. So anyway, when I click on event, it still say no upcoming events at the moment. That I, I don't know what event you're clicking on. You're clicking on the main website, thebabiesbooty.com. I don't have any events on thebabiesbooty.com. You have to go to thebabiesbooty.store and click on the events picture. Let's look at how that looks so that y'all can, those that aren't getting it can get it. So here is the website. We'll go to thebabiesbooty.com. This is, I'm sorry, thebabiesbooty.store. This is the babiesbooty.store where the buy-in is. So here's buy-in on this side. Buy now is on this side. So buy now is down here. If you do not wish to participate in the buy-in or if the buy-in is closed, it's not closed right now. So you can click on buy-in. When you click on buy-in, here is the buy-in page. You click on buy here. Enter the buy-in. It's not rocket science. I promise you click right here. You'll get into the buy-in. If you want rhinestone designs, you click here. Here is events. If you click on events, the tickets will show up. This is where you want to click to get your tickets to the event. Can't help you otherwise. I just can't. That's where you get your tickets. It's in the buy-in website, the baby's booty dot store. I've gotten that question. I don't know how many times from a bunch of people. That's where you go get the ticket. And if you can't go there to get the ticket, I don't know what to tell you because they about to be gone. <laughs> they are about to be gone. IP, IP address monitoring will eliminate the sharing. AJ Harris, use bomb.com, fam. Appreciate that. We'll look into that for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. So otherwise, 1058, y'all, please. She said, y'all better, y'all better act right with me. That's, that's funny. I mean, it, you got to be good to people. You got to be good to people. I mean, we all, you have to be, and, and don't get it twisted. Everybody's different. I have good days and bad days. It's understandable. But, you know, you can't be on 10 all the time. You can't be bossy all the time. You can't be, you know, you got to know what you're doing. You got to be able to get, you know, stuff done because, you know, some people feel like, and, and I get it. Some people want to email me directly and want me to give them the information directly. Some people text, some people, you know, and, and I get it. I understand that personal touch is great. But you guys are starting to be such a big enough group to where it's like, I can't personal touch everybody. And it's not fair to the folks who can't personal touch. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, everybody gets the same information. The tickets about sold out. So how did those people get the tickets? And you can't follow the link to get the tickets too. I'm not saying that to offend anybody but i'm just being truthful and i'm speaking truth so i'm not trying to down anyone i'm just saying the information is there it has not changed go get it and it's there and i'm here for you fam as much as i can be with the exception of as soon as i hit this off button and we go offline and I end this broadcast. I don't want to hear nothing from nobody, fam. I'm here to tell you, I don't want to hear nothing. You reach out and you get crickets. Don't be offended because your girl is hopefully going to be laid out in the sun somewhere getting a tan. And I hope I come back some shades darker, you know, because I, I did in my younger years. I used to tan. I do have sunscreen this time. I didn't have that back then, but I got it now. And, you know, I got a couple of bathing suits. You know, we kind of ditched the bikini because I had a grandbabies with me. That's a lot of flesh for grandbabies. Um, and we're going to have us a grand old time because I'm finally able. My husband said, I'm tired. I'm taking you here. This is where I want to go. And I don't care how big of a fit I pitched. We going. So my honey is finally getting to go somewhere. He's always wanted to go. 
and I'm so happy for him. And so we're going to go and take the grandbabies and take my kids and just have a grand time. So I'm super excited. I don't want to hear from nobody till next Sunday. And I might not be live next Sunday because um, I don't know what time. I See, this is the thing. They planned the whole thing. I had nothing to do with any of it. So I just found out what time we leaving. Um, so I don't even know when we coming back, to be quite frank. I know it's Sunday, but I don't even know when. So I may not be back in time to go live. Um, but meanwhile, I love this community community because for the most part, all of you, I say 98% of you really appreciate all of Marilyn Patrice, Dimps, Uni. 755 all of the influencers and the and the content creators that y'all see in this big circle that we share y'all respect us and y'all are like you know what we get it go on vacation have a good time i'm not about to bother you with this i appreciate you what you do blah 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 and i love it because i appreciate you too there's some folks out there that's just like we don't care you on vacation guess what i need blah 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 blah, blah. and i'm just like i can't help the fam because right now is not the time it just ain't. And that's going to be all next week. It's not going to be the time, y'all. I love y'all. <laughs> I do. I'm here for you, fam. But guess what? Your girl about to dip on every last one of you. So, because of that, because I'm about to dip on you, because I love y'all so, so very, very much, I'm going to send y'all off with some sensualization. And I want you to think about this sensualization. And with your girl, we'll be having fun with Mr. McQuacken and the family when we on vacation. All right? So love y'all. Y'all have a great night. And unless Mr. McQuacken's come and tell me something else I'm supposed to say, I love you. I really, I really do. And I appreciate you for taking the time to be here with our channel. So you guys have a great night. Have fun, and until I see you again, have happy blinging, embroidering, vinyling, sublimating, DTFing, whatever it is you got to do. Keep crafting and have a good time. Good night. How would you define luxury? Your purchase of our rhinestones has put extravagance right at your fingertips. Here at the Baby's Booty, we are taking the standard of luxury and bringing it directly to you. Introducing the perfect companion to your Lux rhinestones, the Baby's Booty Ice Boxes. Our ice boxes are in the perfect sizes to complement your order. Each color in your purchase will be labeled and packaged in these elegant acrylic boxes ready to display your luxury stones for everyone to see. The Baby's Booty Ice Box, where our bling is the finer thing.